Hello YouTubers, uh, this is Survival Craft here. This is my first video. Um, it's nothing special, I just wanted to show you guys a new way of forcing a patina on your blade. Now I've been doing this for quite a while and generally I use something like vinegar, um, mustard, just, just something basic. Um, but recently while I was heating dinner, I actually looked down and noticed that the number one ingredient in the horseradish sauce I was using was vinegar. So I was like, eh, you know, I've tried mustard, tried my own concoctions. I'm just going to smear some of this horseradish sauce on a blade and see what happens. Well, it actually turned out really well. Um, and so here's, here's a first look, and I'll tell you how I did it. Um, but I hope you can see this. It's got a bit of a tiger striping. And then around the edge, there's a, a great deal of, I don't know, it's, it's just a dark edge. Um, I, I think it actually looks really good. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I also tried it on some larger knives. I, I got this one to... Just show you what it originally looked like. It has a little bit of discoloring. But then on the other side, and I think this is wicked awesome. There you go. Isn't that thing so cool? Well, okay. So how I did it. Alright. I went and I went and bought very chunky horseradish sauce. Now, it, it takes chunky horseradish sauce. You can't use the smooth stuff. For some reason, it just doesn't work as well. So, get the chunky stuff, take it, and just smear it really thick all over the blade, stopping where you want this wavy edge all the way up. Try to keep it off the blade. You want, you want a, the actual cutting surface. But just all the way up, and let it sit there for about 40 minutes. Now, during that 40 minutes, what it's going to do is it's not going to change the color of any of this, but it's going to create that really dark, solid line all the way down that gives it that, that bit of crispness, crispness, not Christmas, and depth. Then, what you do is you, after that 40 minutes, you wipe it off in streaks, just barely, get all the big chunks off, um, leaving a few chunks here and there. And you, you want to streak that off with something like a Q-tip or a cotton ball. Uh, the finer the instrument, the more, the tighter your lines will be. So I, I prefer a Q-tip. tried it several times on different knives, and that seems to be the best. And then you want to let that sit for really however long you want. I, I let this sit for another 40 minutes, and it turned out like this. But uh, just so you know, it will look darker than it actually is when you wash everything off. So if you want it really dark, make sure it looks really dark before you wash it off. And then I just took it into the kitchen, uh, ran it under hot water, and wiped it off with a very soft sponge and soap. And this was the product. So I went from this to this in roughly two hours and it's great I mean not only is it aesthetically peeling, appealing but it will it will protect the blade and uh, that's really what I wanted I wanted something that I didn't have to worry about oiling all the time although I do keep it oiled uh, but something that I could let let sit a bit especially when I'm outdoors so, um, well, that's the video. Uh, other than that, I also did this one. Really nice looking. Love the thing. And, of course, my, well, besides the kukri, my favorite. Off nails. I guess they're higher, higher in carbon. They just, it just looks amazing. And it looks even better in real life. Trust me. You've got to try it. 
Well, thanks guys. This is my first video. Hopefully there will be more to come. Uh, next, I'll, well, sometime soon, I'll be reviewing this Kupri. Um, so, stay tuned. Have fun.